Hi, my name is Vijay Rao. I'm a clinical cardiologist at Franciscan Health, and I am the uh, co-director of the Heart Failure Program and Cardio-Oncology. So heart failure is a clinical syndrome where patients will often get shorter breath, they'll have difficulty laying flat, and they'll develop swelling in the legs. Um, this is a um, syndrome that is associated with either two causes, generally. One is either due to reduced pump function of the heart, or secondarily, it could be due to a stiff heart, both of which are the leading diagnosis uh, from discharge from the hospital uh, and is uh, exacting an enormous economic toll on the healthcare system. Heart failure should not be scary. Uh, I think uh, it's certainly the term itself uh, engenders a lot of um, concern among people because they, they think that my heart is failing. Um, it's certainly the outcomes for folks with heart failure um, are getting better um, with new treatments and therapies, um, but it's definitely something that needs to be taken seriously. So there are a number of folks at risk for heart failure. Uh, as I mentioned, there are two different types of heart failure. The first is one where the patients have a reduced heart function. About two thirds of those patients typically have had a heart attack. So anyone who has risk factors for a heart attack, for example, a strong family history, diabetic patients, those who smoke, those with high blood pressure are certainly at risk for heart failure. Um, the other component is the stiff heart, and that is the risk factors are slightly different. We tend to see that more in elderly women, those with obesity, and those with long-standing high blood pressure. So how can we prevent the stiff heart syndrome? Well, some of the key features are focusing on your blood pressure. Uh, as we've often heard the term, the silent killer, and ultimately, it's really important to continue to monitor your blood pressure because years of high blood pressure untreated is what can lead to the stiff heart syndrome. So it's really important uh, for folks to realize that once you've had a diagnosis of heart failure, um, that you really shouldn't limit necessarily your activity level. I think we people get the wrong impression on that. I think it's extremely important. We have a lot of evidence to support the fact that if people lose weight, if people maintain a regular exercise program, that they can actually improve their outcomes as well as uh, stay out of the hospital. So we have uh, a multidisciplinary heart failure program here at Franciscan Health. This starts in the hospital with a inpatient heart failure unit that has dedicated education and clinicians who are focused on heart failure for those patients. And then as we transition to the outpatient setting, we have a uh, heart failure clinic that also uh, has a number of uh, key features, one of which is that it's multidisciplinary. We, are, uh, we have both cardiologists as well as internal medicine docs as well as pharmacists that will provide a comprehensive uh, approach to the heart failure management, most of which does occur in the outpatient setting. Uh, if you get the diagnosis of heart failure, uh, don't become distressed. Just realize that there is a dedicated team of individuals who are there to help you get through this. We have a lot of new therapies, a lot of exciting research that will uh, make your quality of life better and help you live a long life. So don't despair, uh, but just uh, make sure that you spend time with your primary care providers as well as your heart failure team and really uh, focus on compliance with medications, focus on trying to lose weight with exercise, and trying to focus on a better diet.